Is the other school sucks because it isn't safe for privacy. Yes, indeed. I love the lamp. Okay, well, the, the Spud is in cahoots with the lamp, apparently. It ain't safe from the paper ghost. Not paper ghost. Ghost of paper. Or ghost peppers. Oh, somebody spiked, uh, spiked something of ghost peppers. That's an interesting one. Hmm. Hmm. What are we going to do next? Such a menacing looking lamp. <laughs> well, the clips are coming thick and fast this evening, aren't they? I'm going to have to do another... At this rate, I'm going to have to do another community compilation. Right, that's back to the academy. We don't want to go to the academy. Oh, let's talk to Elvis. Let's go and talk to Elvis. I haven't spoken to him yet. I don't think he's got a side mission. I don't think anyone's got any side missions for me at the minute, but, you know. Well, apart from the owner of the pumpkin pub, who is slightly angry with us because we broke his chandelier. I, I mean, I don't understand how it happened. I was explaining diligently to chat exactly what we shouldn't do. And the next thing I know, it's falling from the ceiling and shattering upon a table. Oh, well, you see, they don't make chandeliers like they used to. Not at all. Hi, pretty lady. Bye, pretty lady. I leave that for you for the uh, wait. I leave that for you to find out in your first playthrough. Oh, is this your first playthrough? No, no, no. We play. Uh, well, sort of. I played it once. Once upon a time, I played it many years. I, well, I played it when it first came out. Got the collector's edition with the golden Wiimote, which I still have on the wall over there, actually. Yeah. Um, oh, why for the moment? Ah. Oh, good question. Ah. Hold on. Uh, hold that for. Hold that for. But yeah, I played this. I've got the soundtrack as well. I love the soundtrack. I watched the completionist, uh, the completionist episode on Skyward Sword, uh, not a few weeks ago. Well, I think it was first came out, and I, on I, I honestly nearly burst into tears when, at the start in the intro, he played the Goddess's Ballad because all of a sudden this massive wave of nostalgia just hit me. I love the Goddess's Ballad. Absolutely adore the Goddess's Ballad. Hey. For the moment. Oriel! Oriel is the waifu of the moment. She is absolutely adorable. I like her. Along with Spirit. Uh, I got my copy when I was nine, along with Spirit Spirit Tracks. I like Spirit Tracks. I, oh, admittedly, admittedly, it might be the tiny bit because it has a train in it. And it was the first advent. And I. Look, you get to go on the adventure with Zelda. <laughs> she was there as your companion. If it was, I would have preferred it if it was like a, a third person Zelda like this, but whatever. You had an adventure with Zelda and it was amazing. Well, it was, well, it, it was an amazing in that aspect. It was probably one of the weaker... No, no, no actually. I thought it was an okay game. I thought it was a pretty okay game. Uh, maybe decent. Good? Don't know, I'd have to play it again, I suppose. But yes, no, I enjoyed Spirit Tracks. I played this originally. Wiggle, I think the controls took a bit away from it, to be honest, but I enjoyed the story, and oh, oh no spoilers. But for those of you who've played it, you might be able to guess at one bit in this game that really broke me. Really broke me. I think I may have let it slip on the channel before as well, but we'll see when we get to the end of the game. Um, but yeah. Also, I may be a tiny bit of a zealing shipper, depending on the game. Depending on the game. Not something I'm proud to... I should probably be proud to admit, but whatever. Sod it. It's my channel, so I'm going to say whatever the hell. I'm going to be as honest as I bloody well want to be. Um, Toon Link, best Link. I'm not so... Well, Toon Link's pretty good. I like Toon Link. But at the same time... I kind of... I, maybe it's because it was the first Zelda game I ever played, but I quite like Twilight Link. I love Twilight Link's design. It just seems like a... I, I just prefer the design, to be honest. Um, my parents bought me Skyward Sword on the Wii with the soundtrack. I myself have never actually played it actively. Okay, fair enough. Well, we're hey. seeing it all now. Hey, you know what's funny? Folks here call this the Light Tower. It's supposed to help other people find Skyloft and prevent them from crashing into us. What other people? You're the only people here. 
but I've never seen a light coming out of it. I wonder who built it and why. Did you never read the stone tablet on the top of it? That uh, Chuck him off. There is a stone tablet telling you why it exists. You should climb all the way to the top anyway. Hell is one amazing view with the goddess from up there. So you have been up there. <laughs> Me? Thank you, I'm good right down here. Me and Heights, we don't get along. Oh. Well, I feel a bit dumb now. Okay, fair enough, I'll forgive you. Farewell. Such a menacing... Wait, why is... What? <laughs> oh! I meant to do that. Honest. <laughs> I think the only Zelda game that I played more was Twilight... Uh, I played more was Twilight Princess. Good man. I like Twilight Princess. My mum played with me on Skyward Sword. She did the main stuff whilst I did the upgrade and did the Gratitude, uh, gratitude Crystal side quest. Fair enough. I've just remembered a part of this game. I have just remembered a part of this game that I really, really hated when I first played it. Oh, that's not... I'm not going to cover myself in glory when we get there, am I? Oh, well. <clears throat> hey, it's you. What? You went to Beetle's Air Shop without me? That's so unfair. I, I'm sorry? I... What? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Right, let's see. Hello! How goes your search? Wait, uh, was he the, the high pit? No, he was. How goes your search for Zelda? Remember to find a bed and sleep if you start getting tired. A quick nap can restore your heart and refresh your mind to, to explore after dark. Joe, huh. what you wearing to. Uh, Go what you're wearing today, Ezio. Wait, what? <laughs> what am I wearing today? I'm wearing a shirt and trousers. What? This isn't my room, is it? No. Okay, just curious. No, that's fair enough. I mean, no, it's a weekday, so I'm wearing my usual suit. Oh, we can go into Grusa's room. Oh, this might be bad. Do you wear a belt and suspenders? No, because why would I wear a belt if I'm already wearing suspenders? I will, on a Saturday when I'm wearing my casual clothes, I'll wear a belt because I don't have an eye, because, yeah, just I wear a belt. But otherwise, now I've got the braces. Much more comfortable. I find belts sort of just sort of, belts aren't as comfortable for me. Especially once I've gotten used to wearing braces. The only thing is, I used to have clips, uh, they used to be the clip on side, which type, which was fine until I bent down to tie my shoes or something and then the clip slipped and twanged me in the back of the head. So after about the fifth time that happened, I, yeah, I decided, yeah, no, I think I'm just going to sew buttons inside the trousers about the inside the trousers and I'll just use them like that. So that's what I've done. Did you ask, but I have a guy that works for me that does that. I can't even trust him because he seemingly can't trust his own pants. No, it's not a trust issue. It's just belts are much more. I, I honestly, I think braces are much more comfortable. It makes sense, especially when you think about it, because uh, if you're wearing a belt, you're forever having to pull your trousers up. But if you've got a lot of stuff in your pockets, but I don't, because the braces stop them from falling. So haha. -ha. Don't think they last as long as a belt, though. So there is that side of it, but still. How has he got such a big room? And he on it. He's literally got a punching bag with our face on it. Oh, Groos, you truly are an interesting chap. Hello. <laughs> what was his voice? Oh, Zelda, where are you, my Zelda? Hey, Hotshot. Don't you think? Don't I? Don't see you flying in and out of time all the time. <laughs> I know what you're up to. You're trying to make sure that you find Zelda first, but it ain't going to happen. Anyway, this is the worst. Yes. Continue your hard work looking for Zelda Groose. I wish you the best of luck. Farewell. Looks cooler than belts, to be honest. Hey, cheers, M7. I mean, let's face it, I don't dress to look cool, I dress for practicality. 
Well, okay, I kind of like wearing a suit. I blame Doctor Who for that because uh, I started wearing a suit back in the Tenant era and then I sort of just stuck with it. In fairness, it also works quite well because I'm exceedingly lazy. So I just pick up the same, so I've just like got five pairs of the same design of trousers and shirts. And I just wear them in rotation. So there we go. I grew up in the Tenant era. Awesome. I'm in good company now. I remember when I saw Groose for the first time. His introduction was kind of funny, in my opinion. I like Groose. To a degree. Thought of... Spoilers. Right. Uh, I was going to sleep, wasn't I? Yes, that's what we were going to do. We were going to sleep. The legend of Groose. Indeed. Just dawned on me as well. I have yet to run into the Goron again. That's got to be fun. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, you know what? The, the longer we go before I have to do the Goron voice again, the better. If only because I'll probably blow my vocal cords out if I have to do that for an extended period of time. Legend of Shrek! Shrek's in this game? Nanny? There we go. Master, why are you doing that stupid walk? Link is a woodworker. Marvels. How long do you want to sleep? Until night, please. Bonk. Yes, that's how most people sleep. It's not a phase B! This is who I am! <clears throat> yes. Money? Money! Who the hell keeps putting money in my wardrobe? Oh, she's still up. Hello. <laughs> Even those pretty kids are asleep. Aha, <laughs> find me some peace. So, do you think you can find Zelda? Best of luck to you. I mean, yes, I think, maybe, possibly, sure. Wait, uh, Fledge. Isn't there a side quest involving him? Hello. Hey, it's you. Did you find any clues about Zelda? I know you can find her. Don't give up. Okay. Bye. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way again. Son of a dingus. There we go. Oh, we have to fight the cats again, don't we? Oh, never mind. Right. Up to the roof, then? How out of shape is Link that running up the stairs makes him tired? Okay, well, he's not here either. There we go. Is Fledge a guy or a girl? It confuses me as it confused me as a kid even now. He's a guy. He's a very effeminate sort of guy. Right. Oh, the Zars closed. Truly the greatest of security features. A rug. <laughs> right, uh the bat. More butterflies. Art. That works. That's mine. Thank you. Oh, hello. No, no bat. Piss off. Yeah, run. Oops. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to kill a cat. I mean, not kill. The, the, you can't kill the cats. We've discovered this. Don't the, the chat. Dick explained it to me. Honest. Farewell, female knight, and your awesome bird with its head mask. You monster. Sorry. I can't I can't see that without thinking of GLaDOS. 
Oh, I remember you. I remember when you killed me. You monster. Oi! Get him! Um... I mean, I kind of feel sorry for them, but... The market really thinks that the invisible wall they put over the door... Wait, wait a minute. Sorry. <laughs> As if the market really thinks that there is an invisible wall when they put that on the door. Wait a minute. <laughs> Woo. That's interesting. Um, huh? What was that? Oh, let's just put my sword away. Okay, fine. Um, hmm. I get the sneaking suspicion that there's nothing actually for me to do around here. Apart from attack the camp. Hello. <laughs> this child just won't go to sleep for me. What can I do? Uh, that's terrible. Just imagine if video games are real. You would probably hit an invisible wall. Oh, constantly. Yeah, but it's pretty terrible. And even when babies cry, they're still really cute. If it's yours, I guess. You'll understand someday when you've got your own. If we live that long. And your wife? Ah, the missus. She gets tired from running the business all day. I have to let her get some rest sometime. <laughs> oh, oh, right, it's the potion place. Oh. <laughs> okay, have fun. Bye. If video games were real, I'd have decent spending habits. If video games were real, I'd probably have decent sleeping habits. Maybe. If video games were real, could I get myself Cortana? An actual Cortana. Not the Microsoft cheapy version, but the actual Cortana. It'd be nice. Hello. <laughs> You're an interesting looking woman. Um, hello. Good grief. Will you take talk to the boy of mine, Wolomi? He's up at unspeakable hours trying to repair that rusty pile of old robots he inherited. What he intends to do with that scrappy project is beyond me. Oh, oh, okay. Baba. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Up to some late night mischief, eh? Better watch yourself. Or Remlet will take a bite out of your backside. Oh, a Remlet. That's what those cats are called. Most of us don't go out after dark without a really good reason, you know? Like going into space. Joining my ship. The Bebop. I shouldn't open people's cupboards without permission. Oh, why let me then? <laughs> I'm sorry for that guy. Well, the father with the baby. Yeah, I, I can feel sympathy for him as well. All I have is a tortoise. Can't imagine me being a father anytime soon. Right. Hello, you're a bat. You're dead. You're a slime monster. You're dead. Um. So we've been there. Okay, what about this house down here? This is probably going to be Elvis's. Maybe? Oh, it's the fortune teller. Hello. I forgot, isn't it, how he speaks now? Hey, what brings you here at this hour? I'm not open at night. Come to my stall in the bazaar at the same hour. <laughs> Look at my eyes. Look into my eyes. Look into my shiny, shiny eyes. Farewell. Okay, goodbye. 
Oh god, his eyes, eyes move, face does not. No, it doesn't. We're gonna leave him to his own devices. I'm sure nothing evil has happening behind those arms as I can hear the screams of a thousand innocent souls. I mean, he seems like a pleasant man and we shouldn't interfere with him at all. Alright, so, we've spoken to the fortune teller, we've done some things, we've done some other things. In my life, if my life is a video game, we could come across various glitches and fly all over the place. We could, indeed. Maybe I could even get a date. Um, right. Hello, you're a slime monster. You're now dead. Let's face it, we'll all we'd all just be NPCs. We all think it'd be a massive adventure, but it, we'd all just be NPC. Oh, I've already been here. Okay, never mind. Enjoy. Bye. Hmm. Right. Leave me alone. We have problem solved. I may have also accidentally killed a bee. Yeah. Take that, kitty. You'll find your waifu one day, Ezio. Yeah. Well, we'll see. The hell? But uh, look, no. Ah, oh, left bow and armor. <clears throat> Being an NPC and they just can't be the same lines for the rest of your life sucks. I'll agree with you on that, fun guy. And uh, Nintendo, if that was because I just attacked the cat, then don't worry, the cats are evil at night. <laughs> it's a cute thing in the day. Yes, it is. It is an adorable thing in the day. And at night, it turns into an evil gremlin thing that tries to rip our face off. Uh... Oh! It's night time. But there's no point us going to Beetle Shop because there is. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's just do some story. I know it's sacrilege for me to say that, but let's do some story. Pongo, <laughs> what? There we go. Stamina gauge. Sort of annoying. Wish it had an upgrade. Don't know if it's got an upgrade. Sure, we'll figure that out at some point in time. Inside the goddess statue. Oh, sorry. Inside the statue of the goddess. Lord's pedestal. Examine. Lick. Wing. I will go. It was fun, but yeah, I need to go and get. Uh, I need to go seal. Wish you have a good day and rest. Hi, cheers for stopping by, Fungi Arts. Much appreciated, sir. And you go and have a good rest. See you next time. Master, I have confirmed the location of a second opening in the cloud barrier. It is located to the in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. I mean, we've already completed most of them, so yeah, let's do this thing, boy! <laughs> and I like the backer's voice too, I can't remember. Oh, I gave it to the Chief Kiwi, didn't I? Kiwik. Kawaki Boba. Or whatever it was. Uh, yes, right, we... Oh, wait, I don't think I've got a license to fly at night. Maybe? Oh, we might not be able to get to Beetle's place yet. Not that it matters. I mean, we can't, we've not unlocked the um, goddess cube to unlock the chest, but still. Well, it's time to find out for certain now, uh, you know.
Um, oh. Whoa there, trainee! You haven't been promoted to full knighthood if you can't learn to keep your wits about- Oh, right, never mind. Don't let us catch you flying at night. Oh, sorry, you're a woman. <laughs> Oops. Wrong voice. Sorry. Okay, we can't fly at night. That's unfortunate. Well, there, trainee. You'll never be promoted to full knighthood if you can't let keep your wits about you. Oh, then don't let me catch you flying out at night. My only trying knights such as myself should be doing that. You know, now you take her. Okay, bye, lady. Marvelous. That was a bad idea, then. And a completely wasted effort apart from talking to a few people at night. But we found a dude with a robot. I'm not. I doubt that's going to come in handy later on in the game. Ah, the door's locked. Hello. <clears throat> Ezio, it's dangerous to be out night, so be careful. This is my patrol route. My, I'll try that again. This is my patrol route. At night, monsters get really active around here. It's the duty of every night to protect the public from danger. Ah, as well as to drug the birds. I mean, don't drug the birds. That's a bad idea. Don't drug the birds. SEO, for shame! Why did you decide to become a knight anyway? <clears throat> for the money? How would you ever be swayed to temptation of material gain? Do you have no honor? Hmm? That's the pivot way. Make more money? I love seeing... Wait, what? More than money, I love seeing people happy and safe. That is what being a knight is all about. Cool. Enjoy your patrol route, boy. I'm going to go and find my way back to the roof. Somehow, some way, we shall find our way to the roof. Literally, I want to see what's on the roof. That's, that's the only thing I'm interested in at the minute. And waifus. But we all know that. And if you don't, then hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Ezio. Up we go. Right. Can't do anything there. Nothing to do up here. I can go up there, but I can't be bothered. Boing. Boosh. Donk. Door. <clears throat> Ooh. Actually, that's one thing we need to do. There, that's our room. Once we wake up, we shall go and talk to the principal. Principal Majima. I'm sure he's going to tell us many things. You know one thing that's always confused me as well? You see Link's got his shield on his back. And then you but when he pulls it out, it's on his arm. But think about it. Think about where the handle inside the shield is and how he gets it off his arm. It's just He's not Captain America. It's weird. I don't know how he sort of does it. If the shield was upside down, it'd make more sense. But it isn't. It's I, it's just weird how he pulls the shield out. Or maybe I'm just being daft and there's a very simple explanation for it. Example, please. I'll show you outside. Ah, it's Eo. How's your search? Have you found any leads to Zelda's whereabouts? I feel terrible for forcing this fate on your, uh, you face this task alone, but we mustn't let the rest of the village catch wind of what transpired that awful night. If the truth of what we saw at that night was exposed to the village, it could cause mass confusion among the people here. I'm afraid the mission has to fall to you alone. Good luck, and may the winds be at your back. I, was, I thought he was going to say, may the goddesses have mercy on your soul, but sure. Oh no, sorry. 
goddess. Because apparently Nintendo decided that they didn't need Din Fario or Naru at Nairu anymore, which is utter bollocks, because I like those three. So near, near to you, Nintendo. Love you, Nintendo. But near all the same. Right, pull out a sword. See, it's just... Right, it's on his arm. Cool. How is he going to get it back on his back? The right way. It's a bit easier to show it with the Helian shield, to be honest. Well, seriously. Does that. Oof. It, it, it sort of... It rotates. It's weird. It's, it's weird how he puts it back on his back. I'm excited for the Nintendo Direct. I don't think... I don't think I'll see the Nintendo Direct, but... I am quite curious to see what we get. Hopefully it's not a hard release date for the uh, for Breath of the Wild 2, because I still need to play Breath of the Wild 1, which we're playing after Yakuza Kiwami, which means we're probably going to miss the deadline for that game, but sorry I don't chase the trends on you on Twitch, because I don't do this to be famous. Just putting it out there now. I do this so I can play games and have fun with, well, fellow gamers. Not multiplayer. I don't like multiplayer. But I, uh, this, this, what's happening here? Me? You? playing the game i'm just holding the controller and for some reason people think i'm funny which is insane but there we go oh, don't get me wrong i appreciate it i too am quite insane but still oh here's Zio. how's it going any luck tracking down zelda i get it we're well all of us are here pulling for you oh by the way i saw kukula's mother heading towards the temple a little while ago she looked really upset do you know if something happened wait who <laughs> I'm sorry, let's go back to Yakuza and question how deep the character's pockets were. <laughs> Wait, what? The, the, yes, well, Furnus. No. Simple explanation. They all had hardisses in their trousers. That sounded better in my head. <laughs> They're all secretly Link? Video game logic. Hammer space. Take your pick. Um, when phasma Wait, what? When phasmophobia is uh, Zelzo, Zelzio. Phasmophobia? What? I've never heard of that one. Um, so deeply explained. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Well, I'm here to help. You know, she lives in that house near the water with her husband and their little girl. I don't know what's wrong, but she was definitely upset. Wait, is this the potion woman? Let's go talk to the potion woman. Hey. Oh! It's not the potion woman. Kukel! Kukel! Look, the child of gun! Oh, Kukel, what did you go? Where did you go? What will I do if she's been kidnapped? Oh, is he home? What perfect timing. Have you seen my Kukel? Have you? No. Ah, I see. Please, Ezio, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere and I can't find her. I asked everyone I could find for help, and a few people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone even said that they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. A monster! She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly, someone must have just walked off with her. Yukio, oh, please. It breaks my heart, I think, somewhat. She's out there crying. 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 Yeah, you got it. <sighs> Thank you. The Knight Academy should be proud of a student like you. Please, find my daughter quickly. Okay, cool. <gasps> Haven't you heard or seen a Phantasmagoria? It's a ghost hunting game for full player co op. You mean Ghostbusters? Uh, no, actually, I've not seen that. But then again, I don't play many multiplayer games, or any for that matter. I'm a very unsociable person. Okay, does this have something to do with that house then? Oh, hello! Ah, you can talk. Hi! Yo! What? You went to Beatles' airship with Army? That's so much fun! 
Well, I did see her playing over by the graveyard yesterday. My mum called me home, so I left. I don't know what she did after that. Why? Did something happen? Cool, graveyard. Off we go. It's all coming together, chat. It's all coming together. Phantasmophobia means a fear of ghosts. I can believe that. Different ghosts. Let us go to the graveyard. Mwah. At last, there's no dampe. Oh, there's nothing. Um, right. Okay. We're in the graveyard. I see nothing. I know nothing. There is no one here. Arlena! Hmm. Or oh, Ariel, even. Are you here? Her child has been, who's, uh, who's been playing in the graveyard went missing. Can you believe it? Do you think there's a monster abducting children in our little town? I don't know. Huh? Nothing faces you, does it? The child just vanishes out of the village. Uh, what if I said yes? I do. Huh? What? So there's a chance you'll be dragged off by a monster? Let's not be ridiculous here. The monster business is going a bit far. Oh! Do you mention it? There's an old man who lives near here who's always ranting about hidden monsters here in Skyloft. Everyone knows he's a little loony, though, so no one takes him seriously. You want to know where the old man is? I imagine he's at the Lumpy Pumpkin uh, to the uh, east of here, as usual. You'll need to fly your bird there, of course. Thank you, Aurelina. Aurel, even. Oh, damn, I've got Aurelina stuck in my head. That's what I'm going to call her for the rest of the game now, isn't it? Yeah. Onwards! Through the lumpy pumpkin. Um. Uh, yeah, okay, the flying works so much better now that I actually know the controls. <laughs> I wonder if we can do our jo next job for the Lumpy Pumpkin. Or if we actually have to do the main story. Ow! Oh, well, we didn't lose any health, I suppose. There we go. Saved. You have that gullible look that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. So, tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? Huh? Shouldn't have called it a monster. It's a demon, I tell you, a demon! But no one can save the show, cause no one's seen and left to tell the tale. <clears throat> Whoa! You wanna know how come I'm telling the tale if nobody's who's seen it's left alive? Yeah, it's that it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, I saw it. But I was able to escape out of the seat of my pants. I was saved by my cat-like reflexes, I tell ya. A regular person would have lived long enough to scream. Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell you. Why is he Hyrule's Mr. Libido? <laughs> <laughs> because. Balls if I know. The great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night. I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree, and the gravestone lit up. Oh, what do you mean you sound? I sound like that big kiwi you met in the forest. And you know that kiwis are a fruit boy? I'm not a fruit boy. I pushed the gravestone to the door and the strange shad opened all by itself. The monsters went into the shad and then... Oh, was it Mr. Libido? No, where is Mr. Le Sorry, I completely misread chat. <laughs> Where's Hyrule's Mr. Libido? I've not met him yet. <coughs> no! I stand corrected. It's Girahim. Girahim can be Mr. Libido. 
Maybe. Don't know. I'll figure it out. She's an unexpectedly polite for a demon. It's the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. It's your smart. You'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. Who would we give the Mr. Libido voice to? I can't even remember the voice that I gave Mr. Libido. Oh my. Um. <clears throat> Right, so we need to go back to Skyloft, go to sleep, get up in the middle of the night, go and push a gravestone in the middle of the night to unlock a door to take us to a monster to save a little girl. What the hell are we playing? <laughs> Alright, we're playing the Legend of Zelda game. Um, fair enough. Maybe it's Dampy. No. No, 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 it's not Dampy. <laughs> so succinct, so succinct, even. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, I should have given the libido voice to the fortune teller. Oh well, too late to worry about it now. Ooh, look at the sky left beneath us. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> what? No, wait, that's not how you open a door. Right, there we go. I wonder what happened to Zelda's loft wing. She was on her loft wing, and then it fell from the sky. So, is she using her loft wing outside of the sky? Oh no, she can't because the loft wings can't leave the sky. So, is her loft wing somewhere just around, or did it get obliterated? Or that should be really dark for a Zelda game. Oh, who am I kidding? They made Twilight Princess. That was a dark game in itself. It was the st wait, what? Wasn't that door open the other day? Oh, okay, fine. Well, we'll try the other door then. Oh, wait, that was the headmaster's office, wasn't it? Yep, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Sorry, not idiot. Dingus. Dingus is what I am. I'm a dingus. I'll be self-deprecating. Otherwise, chat will hit me with the big hammer again and it will be most painful. Right, so to the graveyard, without falling off the island this time. Go away. Go away. Yeah, run. Big kitty and little sky mop. Right, uh, this way? I think. Yeah, there we go. So we need to look for... Great stone that's glowing near the tree. mad, but I don't see any glowing gravestones. One. No. Uh. 
Am I missing something here? When do you think the bodies beneath rotate so they always line up with the headstone? Wait, what? When do you think you... When you do that, do you think the bodies underneath rotate so they are always in line with the headstone? Oh, bugger if I know. Right, um... Maybe. Right, so... I don't see any glowing headstones. So am I missing a headstone? Or... Do I need an item that I've not got yet that I can't use? No, that can't be right. Um. Huh. <clears throat> Push the headstone towards the door. They mentioned a glowing headstone, but I can't see any glowing headstones. Hmm. I'll tell you what then. <laughs> oh! <laughs> really? Okay, sure. Push. Oh. Okay! Can we have it so the headstone's glowing at night so they know what to do? No! We must first make them hit the gravestone so it glows. Then they push the gravestone and then it opens the door. Congratulations, Steve. Thank you. Nay, promoted me. I'm now head of telecommunications. <laughs> no, Japan. Hey, it's not the worst thing I've encountered with Japan. If you ever get a chance, watch. Uh, da, 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 what is it? Uh, Fact Hunt. Game, uh, game programmer rants. There is an absolutely amazing one at the end of some Japanese RPG. <laughs> Which <laughs> is just... And another thing! Takanaka-san, if you're going to go and have gay sex all evening, go and shower first, you smell like a dog! It's just, oh! What a charming developer that was! <laughs> Eek! Maybe I'll put, maybe I'll put it on Twitter later. <laughs> Hello.
stop, please, I beg you, don't hurt me. Oh, goodness, I know, I know how bad this must look to you right now. I assure you, I mean no harm. We're just playing a game, the scream as loud as you can game. Oh, good lord, I've just given him the Kojima voice. <laughs> You know what? You know what? Peter Roo, you are now the mushroom seller. Enjoy! <laughs> Isn't that a fun game? Oh dear. Perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is Peter Roo, and I am a monster who resides in this humble dwelling below Skylar. But please, allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I'm certain a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't lose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me, or pull out a sword ready to stab me through the heart. Since she began to visit me here, I felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Scala and sell them mushrooms. Magical, magical mushrooms. But, as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I can try to approach any of them and extend my clore of friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. Or that imp called Midna who strangely appeared the other day. Alright, silly me. I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there's an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. Uh. It seems that when a humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as gratitude crystal. <laughs> gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just looking at them and knowing that there's such gratitude in the world can turn me form from monster to human. And make me grow even better mushrooms. Glorious, glorious mushrooms. Oh goodness, nothing would delight me more than those mushrooms. I mean, to become a human. From the moment I laid uh, my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you'd had a gentle and generous heart. Won't you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Sure. <laughs> Truly, you'll help me? Oh my! I've heard that you can obtain gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. <laughs> they could also be merely lying around here in Skyloft or elsewhere among the clouds. Anywhere you can find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will help me see the magical mushrooms. I mean, them. Please, solve the trouble and gather me all the my gratitude crystals you can find. Any help you can provide will be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. Cool! Dear girl, should be back home safe and sound by tomorrow morning. Give her parents my warmest regards when you see them. Oh, and good luck gathering those gratitude crystals I require. Start. Please bring me five if you can. That would be splendid. Mushrooms, mush oh, I'm sorry. If you do a great kindness for someone, you may even find several at once. Like mushrooms. Glorious, magical mushrooms. But mushrooms. Kayuma is your man. Demon. Man. Hello, kid. Hi. He's not a bad man. He's 
me one time when I almost fell over the edge, and he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Anyway, he said that it was dangerous to go out at night. Go at night. Did it? Go out at night. Now I'll just hang out here for a while. Tell my mum I'll come home in the morning. Oh yeah, charming. Wait, 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 wait. How old is he? Because if we take a moment to consider. The goddess raised all the humans from the earth up into the sky. So does that mean he was like living amongst the humans and he ended up being pulled up into the sky with them? So he has literally been here hiding under Skyloft for millennia? Centuries? Millennia? He's got scythe. I'm guessing he was like a de demon general. He was a demonic general who wishes to change his ways. Either way, yeah, okay, I'll give him some gratitude crystals as soon as I find some. Uh, why is Spud threatening me with a police baton? What? <laughs> okay, let's climb up the ladder again. Oh, bugger off. There we go. Right, so which is her house? I heard, how old is he? And jumped to conclusions. What? <laughs> um. Lady, you do know you've got a lot of sand in your house, right? Hi, hmm? Ezio. Are you tired? Do you look beat? I know how you feel. I always get a wake up. Uh, I, uh, I'm always up for a quick nap. You just make yourself at home. Uh, okay, that's not what I intended, but thank you. Hi. Uh, it's your welcome. How's my pippet doing at school? Um, well, there's a, this is a very dirty house. Goodbye. Mm. Leaving already, Ezio. If you see pippet on patrol, make sure you wave and say hello. Cool. Later, kind lady. I think. Ezio was too innocent to understand your way of thinking. Me? Innocent? Really? <laughs> After all I witter on about waifu... <laughs> One day you will learn not to attack me. Oh, there we go. I caught one starry firefly. These insects are among the rarest in the skies. Really? There's like two of them here. Oh, reach. Ow. Oh. The abyss is deep indeed. Come here. Yeah, I'm too lazy. I'm not going to bother with that one. Right. Yeah, stay down. Bad kitty. Oh, piss off. There we go. Ding, 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 ding. Right, okay. Oh, wait, we were going to go and find that woman's house, weren't we? I don't know where she lives. She live here? Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's Oriel. Riel, turn up okay. You were one who found her. Nice work. That's showing him what a student of Night Academy can do. You should go and let her mother know she's safe. The house is down near Water's Edge. Oh wait, should I give him a okay? Right. Mm -hmm. The girl who went missing has been found safe. I see. She wasn't abducted after all. 
such a relief to hear. <laughs> but anyway, I guess the case is closed. Great work, Valiant Knight. Thanks, pretty lady. I have decided they are Russian. That was supposed to be Russian. Might not have sounded Russian. I'm not good with accents. I'm not good with voices, as you can tell. Does that mean I'm going to stop doing them? Not on your life. Come on, I mean, the alternative is I literally voice everyone. I just add vodka, I wish. I mean, the alternative is I literally do everyone in my voice. I still think. Do this thing. Greetings, Link. Hello, Link. Yeah, no, sod that. <laughs> I did that in King most of the Kingdom Hearts games, and you know what? I found I found a great joy through doing Yaku doing voices in Yakuza Zero, so I'm gonna keep doing them here. Uh, down by Water's Edge. That's Pippet's house. Down by the Water's Edge. Oh, is it that? Excuse me, is it that one? Oh, rupee. There we go, Kirkula House. <clears throat> oh! Mm. Well, are you serious? You found Kirkula? What did I tell you? Nobody here in Skylaf would have harmed a hair on her head. Wait. How is that? <laughs> He's got magical floating bandages. Dude's cool. Like him. Hello. Oh, you found Kirkyo? Well, I guess it's good to hear. She's at least with a friendly, responsible adult. But I just can't wait to see her. That's his hero pose. <laughs> Fair enough. A hero afraid of heights. Yeah, I can get behind it. Yeah, go away. Maybe that's how I get rid of flies in future. I don't swat at them with my hands. I just pull out a sword from my back and stab them. Oh, that seems a bit overkill, actually. Right, there we go. I have destroyed these flowers. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, wait, I've destroyed them on the Russian man camp. Oh, wow! That's the first time those have killed, damaged me. Interesting. Probably not very legal. Yeah, I think you're probably right. A bit depressing, but ah oh well. Oh! You've got a jelly bob. It may not, it may look like a boring wad of gunk, but it's seen many uses for all sorts of things. Awesome. Uh, probably not very legal. Probably pay a fine like to get to keep your bat. You've earned it. Marvelous. I did earn it. I beat up a guy next to the Sotobori Canal. Oh, wait, no, that was Majima. Wait, the... now the door's locked. Oh, never mind. Front door locked. Upstairs, not so much. Night Academy. No. You saw nothing, chat. They can turn stuff... <laughs> wait. Then you can stuff it and bring on the... St uh, wait, what? You've earned it. Then you can stuff it and bring it on the stream. What, a bat? I don't own a baseball bat. Why would I bring it on stream? I mean... I've got this old policeman's truncheon here, which is something, I suppose, but... <laughs> oh, you might be wondering, Enzio, why do you have a an old wooden policeman's truncheon next to your streaming PC? I... Don't know! It just lives there. It is it, it, its home. It, it's there. Just in case I don't know, I need to... Keep chatting line or something? I don't know. Well, the last time I tried that, I ended up putting it through a monitor, and that was a bad time for everyone. Well, mainly for me, so maybe not. Right, there we go. There's a maroon 
come next to me? Bruce, is it? No, it's Fledge. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not it. Okay. Right, so, if we believe what demon person said, I'm going to call him Kajima, Kajima, because that's easier for me to remember than Bayumux or Bayumon or whatever his name was. Uh, easy for me to remember where this house is. Hold on, where's the door? I, I can't... Uh, the, uh, door! There we go. <coughs> Hello! Uh, oh, Ezio! Your healer saved me back home, and it's all because of you! I don't know how to express my gratitude. I can finally smile and laugh again. Thank you very much. There we go. Wait, that's a star bit from Mario Galaxy. What? what? <laughs> Did they just recycle the model? Oh, well. You got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. It must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce a bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. Marvelous. We've got five gratitude crystals. I don't know how many we need to actually do the thing. Oh, it's you, it's you. Uncle Bats told me he wants to see all the gratitude crystals and uh, gratitude crackles he can. But he's going, uh, but how's he going to do that? <coughs> well, we'll sort it. Right, so we have to hunt these things down all over the place. That's going to take a while. Um, Right, let's go and can we visit the graveyard during the day? This will be the last thing we do, I'm afraid. Um... Oh, okay, cool. Down here, yes. Is the door still open? It is, marvellous. Oh, crumbs! Yeah, that was stupid. Well done, SEO. <laughs> Peteru, even. Oh! You've gathered quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent. Please, take this as a token of a demon's deepest appreciations. I got the medium wallet! I, uh, okay. 500 rupees. Wait, does this mean that we can... I'm still going to need more gratitude crystals to become human. Please, won't you wait a poor unfortunate demon need? I can offer you mushrooms. Glorious mushrooms. 500 plus 300. Oh, ooh, okay, so 500 plus 300 means that we could technically... 800 rupees. 800 rupees is what we need for the finger me bob. It's um, the heart medallion. Awesome. We can do that. That's an idea. Fun. Right, need to save the game. Then we need to fill our wallet. Somehow. Um, hmm. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to fill the wallet. I suppose we'll just have to keep collecting rupees and try and max it out as best as we can. Right, first we should definitely save the game. There we go. Hey. Wish my clothes dry as quickly as links do. Walk to work in the pissing rain and then just immediately I'm dry and happy. I should have selected that because we are going to have to continue this next time.
And there we go. Oh, right, hold on. It helps if I change that over as well. Go. Marvellous. And there we have it. Another evening of Skyward Sword. Eight hours playtime. And this is going to be another big game, isn't it? Considering we've got all the gratitude crystals to gather. And all the other bits and pieces. And all the things. But it should be shorter than Yakuza. Because let's face it, the completion criteria is a lot shorter than the Yakuza run. But then again, it's also me playing it. So yeah, we'll take the normal completion time and then double it. Because that's probably what we're going to end up with. As Anyway, we are now... <laughs> an hour and a half over my usual stop time ish uh, well whatever who needs sleep anyway but there we have it that is more Skyward Sword done we've finished Farron Woods we've unlocked the Elden Province we're going to go visit Death Mountain we've destroyed a poor landlord's chandelier we've delivered pumpkin soup to a person we've assaulted some cats we've met a demon who sells mushrooms and a woman who's living in a in a desert for some reason saved a little girl and um did i mention we beat up some cats so i think it's all been quite successful don't you thanks for the extra bit today always makes my workday fly by well i'm pleasure to be of service for but much appreciate thank you for stopping by anyway with the Good night, see you Saturday, but indeed. So with that said, let's get this ending spiel out of the way and all done and dusted. So, if you're new here, hi, I'm Ezio. It's a pleasure to meet you. If you enjoyed what you saw, well, I'd really appreciate it. Hit that follow button, but the decision will always be yours. If you ever want to catch me live, well, I stream here on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 o'clock UK time and every Saturday at 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock UK time. If you've ever missed any of these streams, if you want to catch up with our run of Yakuza... With our run of Yakuza 0 so far. Good lord, how deeply is that ingrained in my memory now? If you ever want to catch up with our run of Skyward Sword HD so far, you can find all of these streams uploaded to the VOD section of this very channel, as well as a link to the YouTube archives and the panels down below containing playlists of every game, every journey as I call them, that we have ever covered on this channel. And our No Holds Barred series containing my thoughts on every game that we've ever played. Uh, tomorrow is the end of the Yakuza 0 Let's Play, complete with the Yakuza 0 Thoughts video. I'll probably put it on Twitter as well if I remember. But yeah, you can find it all there, all happy, as well as the link, uh, the, I think there's the no hold barred command in chat as well, which lists the commands for each individual Thoughts video, so you've got the links there as well. Anyway, with that out of the way, all that's left to say is a thank you to each and every one of you, be you a chatter, be you a lurker, be you watching live here on Twitch or in the YouTube archives. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey this evening. Thank you for spending a little bit of your life here with me on this channel. And it means the world. It always will do. It always does. And if I ever forget to say that, well, hopefully chat holds me to account for it. There's a truncheon down there that they can use gladly. Anyway, let's see if there's enough for a raid. Oh, mentioning raids. Also, a massive thank you to the amazing... Turbo Drive Live. If you've not stopped by his channel yet, we've raided him a few times. I recommend you do. And hey, drop him a follow as well. Dude's been a great friend to... Well... Been a great friend to me here on Twitch. Turbo, you sir... Awesome. Awesome. But anyway, 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 before I go off on another sappy heart-filled rant, let's see if there's anyone for us to raid on the raid list, eh? Where are my links? My links have disappeared. Not these links. Links, links in Zelda, the, these vine. He's actually called Ezio now, and it's the closest I've ever gone to the Princess Zelda. So huzzah! Take that restraining order. Um. Aha! Mentioning Ezio's. Last Minute Continues live. Last Minute Continues live with Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. You know what? I, will, I would be deeply, deeply amiss of me if I didn't support my namesake. Yes, but my name is last minute continue. No, it isn't. <laughs> but yeah, let's go and throw a raid over to Kev, eh? So with that said and done to each and every one of you, may you all have a beautiful evening, morning or afternoon, wherever it is around this whole wide world you are. And as always, until our paths next cross again, Vortex awaits. And I'll see you all next time.